The Dispossessed by Ursula Le Guin. Uh, this is a paperback book. Not much to it. I kind of like the cover, I suppose. It, um, it shows a wall, a sort of a stone wall, which is kind of a, one of the main themes of the book is literal and figurative walls, literal ones and that, that actually block out people who come from one kind of place to another and then figurative ones where people mentally block out groups of people from others. Okay, this is a pretty old book. It was written in the early 70s and it was, as you can see there, a modern classic. It won a bunch of awards. It, um, it's, it's science fiction, which keeps it from winning some of, I don't know, there's some walls to talk about. If you call it science fiction or if it deals in any way with science fiction topics, sometimes it gets relegated to the lower levels of, of what people call literature. Uh, but it did win the big awards. In, in science fiction in any case. It's not much to see from the book itself. It's not illustrated. It's just a typical paperback book here. This one has an introduction from Roddy Doyle, who came to the book late, didn't read it until kind of well into adulthood. Maybe even after uh, Le Guin died, I'm not sure. So the story itself is, it's a really, <clears throat> it's not much of a story. It's a guy who lives in one kind of society, basically, who goes to another kind of society. And so there's some plot, and there's a little bit of intrigue, and a little bit of, I mean, not really any action to speak of. It's sort of just about his life and his way of thinking and, and where he comes from. But a lot of it is just long, just kind of, well, that makes it sound bad, but long descriptions kind of, of of what his society was like. His society is on a different planet and it's uh, it's anarchistic. And it's kind of interesting to me because occasionally I've run into people who say they are anarchists, but I've never really gotten to, to have a, a real conversation for, for some reason or another. Like how would that actually work? How would an anarchic society actually work? Would it just be people running around and you know taking what they want? Uh, and she has put a lot of thought into it. She's really put a lot of detailed work into how it could actually work, how that kind of society could really work. And so from that point of view, it was interesting to me. Uh, I think that there were still some holes and there were still some questions I had. Well, what about this? What about that? Um, but as far as a sort of a, a utopia goes, it's, it's not... It's not just one of these sort of science fiction, oh, well, in our world, we... We never have any pain or suffering. We no one steals because everyone has everything they want. It's it's much more detailed and thought out by that, and takes into account human nature and the fact that some people are are greedy or rotten or whatever. Anyway, um, I I find it hard to recommend because so much of it I, I did find it interesting, but so much of it is is not really plot based. It's just sort of helping you understand the world that he comes from. And then, and then he goes to the other world, which is more like our world. But I've read a few people saying that it's, you know, there's a, it's sort of like the U.S. And it really isn't like the U.S. I don't know how people think that. Um, it, it, it is on the surface, but then suddenly some things happen that is very much would not happen in the U.S. And, uh, and so I'm not sure. And, and, and that kind of takes away from it for me because it seems like this is a very advanced society that also is not very advanced in some in some ways that most of the world has already figured out by now. Why why didn't they figure this out thousands of years from now or however long it's supposed to be? Anyway, uh, I find it. I, I read the whole thing. <laughs> that is to say, it kept my attention enough for me to read it. I don't complete books that I'm not enjoying, and it was very interesting and interesting to talk about with people while I was reading it, but not as a novel. Um, I can't, I, I, it's, a, it's an interesting one. I enjoyed the book, but I, if I'm thinking about it as a novel, I'm not really sure how I feel about it in that way.
Ah, so it's an interesting one. Uh, I, I suggest, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess I would say someone who's interested in what I've just talked about should definitely give it a read. But if you're looking for sort of a science fiction, interesting, you know, fun story kind of thing, this, this might not be it. All right, The Dispossessed by Ursula K. Le Guin.